I've been playing a lot of Donkey Kong Country as of late, and I figured it would be fun to play another game that has a very similar soul to Donkey Kong Country. A little lone classic on the PlayStation 1 called Pandemonium. This is a game that I'm pretty nostalgic for. However, I did not have the PlayStation version. I had a PC version. And the problem is, the more and more I played it, the more destroyed the disc got. So, for the first little while I didn't have music, and then for the first little while after that, I couldn't play the game because it just kept skipping. So, it amazed me that it's on the PlayStation with a nice stable frame rate and everything. Just brought me back to the first time I played the game. Let's get started. So I figured just to give you a little bit of a backstory, so you got two main characters. Nikki and Fergus. There was a magical demonstration happening in the town, and they took advantage of it. Not only did they take the lesson, but they stole the instructor's spellbook and just went crazy with it. disturbing at the same time. That was fun. Horrible, but fun. Uh, okay, so uh, make with the kid rid of the giant monster spell. I don't know that one. Check the book. Check the book. To get rid of Youngo, seek a boon from the wishing engine. A boon? What the heck's a boon? A wee, idiot. And look, here's a map. Let's go. And that's your setup for the game. Okay, let's begin. It's funny how a lot of this is quite nostalgic for me. However, the controls were a little different. So, as you can see, you have a choice between the two characters. You got Nikki, and you got Fergus. Both of them have different skills, so Nikki has the ability to double jump, while Fergus has the ability to do a roll into enemies. I figure, at least for this first level, I'm going to try to challenge myself a little bit with Fergus. I usually just end up playing as Nikki myself. Let's see how much of this I can do. Statue, and now you got a free spell. Let's see, is it circle? Yeah, it's circle for the smash move. Hmm. You can also bounce on top of the enemies, but I want to try to freeze them if I can. Hmm. There we go. It's still kind of an interesting gameplay loop, really. The idea that, like, it's a 2D side scroller, but the camera moves around to kind of create a more 3D effect. It's not something you see very often. I always love this. If you do it just right, you can actually freeze them from here. I guess this spell is a nice spell. 
Now the red one is a destruction spell. However, I think the freeze is a bit more effective as you only have to use it once and it freezes the enemies, but with the destruction spell you have to do it for as many hit points as the enemy takes. And the other thing to mention as well is if you get hit then you lose the magic power. say coins because that's basically what they are, but I think they're probably called jewels in this game. Hmm. Hmm. I don't forget. If you follow those bats, there's a bit of a secret. Uh, I don't want the destruction spell anyway. Correctly, it's either 100 or 120 is what gets you all one up. You don't have to go this way, but it's just a fun little secret. Actually, a way to increase your life so you can have more than just two hearts. It's been a very long time since I last played this game, and well, I don't pretend to be that much of an expert, as you can see by my mystery. Mm -hmm. I just claim to be a big fan of this game. It's going to be difficult because I can only jump once. Yes! Yeah! Well, I got most of them at least. There's not really any way to go back, unfortunately. I'm just going to inch closer. <laughs> I knew that guy was there. Nothing there. I should think about using that spin move more often. The arrow may say to go that way, but there's more jewels here. Okay, now I've got a multiplier. Let's see if I can get the two times for the big one here. Oh, looks like you need quite a lot for an extra life. Maybe 300? Oh. Game's not too difficult in the beginning here. However, when I was playing this as a very young kid, it was rather difficult. In fact, if I remember correctly, it was either level 3 or 4, whichever one is the case that we'll be going through later. That was as far as I could ever get through the game for a very long time. show you the destruction spell now. I love the sound of it. I like the idea that he does like a karate chop motion as he did. Yeah. If that guy took more than one hit, he would have hit me. I wasn't paying attention as to what number it came on when I got the extra life, but uh, hey. Hopefully I have footage to capture what that number is. Okay, now the plan takes three hits, so notice that it takes three hits as opposed to just one and walk to freeze room. If I 
pegaram. percent treasure. Ah, yes. And then if you get enough of the treasure, you get a bonus game. No. Earn some extra lives. I was never very good at this. As you can see. We just got one for it. Looks like we got two more chances. Somebody that's made it to the end is going at least two lives. Oh man, I missed the one up. The one up is represented by the off. Six percent. And now I got the password. Ooh. Ah, right. So I don't carry the spell over. However, I'm going to switch to Nikki because I do know there is an easy. Oh, the spell transfer's over. There's a one-up that can be earned, but it is a lot easier when you have the double jump. Let's go see. <laughs> this was a level I would always be carrying all the time, where you can just kind of farm for extra lives and that kind of Like with Donkey Kong Country, how you have to do the first level and that's where you get your lives from. There it is. Ah, I was at it. Well, that's the problem. Is that's the only way you can get it because if you actually walk towards the arm, it'll run away. Well. I'm gonna keep the hearts around just in case. See, they all disappeared. Oh, there it is. Kind of interesting seeing it's a mi more medieval theme, but yet the Onk is very much from Egyptian. So I pick this up and the walls go up to the This was a popular thing at the time. Charlie Crash Bandicoot with the boulder scenes and whatnot. <laughs> you know, kind of think of it, I wonder. I think of that might have been the inspiration for this level. <laughs> yeah, we did a good time. And then here you can get plenty of jewels. Maybe I should say treasure because that's what it refers to on the big map. Um, why am I having a hard time with my words? I am sorry. And that's what it says at the end screen. aspect of this game has got to be the music. It helps complement the action, so you don't even notice it. But yet I've had to play the game without music several times that I didn't even pick up on what it's like right now. Ah, the red spirit. Like a really high value treasure. Let's get to listen to that glow. 
the last time. Alright, I figure I'll play through the next level, and then I will call it an episode there. This next level is one of my personal favorites. The Dungeon Tower. I'm gonna stick with Nikki on this one. Not only do I like the double jump ability, but there's a lot of secrets in this level I want to try to show off. I'm so crazy about this game is how blocky it is, but yet somehow it's very artistically blocky. Like some people will probably look at this and be like, ooh, the graphics have not aged very well, but I don't know, I still think they're pretty aesthetically pleasing. graphics blew me away right? the first time I played this game. I knew about like being 64 at that time and whatnot. But I will admit, it's kind of twisting effect it was very interesting. I 
just jumps right into the answer. Even though it's a uh, PlayStation game. What times here went all that cold? You know what? I went this way last time. Let's go the other way now. Of course, I am also playing this on a flat screen, and while I may be recording CRT, the timing can be a little off sometimes. I was about to say, thankfully, the plane doesn't change direction, but uh, there's an angle there. Let's go! This is just a shortcut to the end, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Oh! I got the extra hit point! Time for the level that literally took me years to beat the very first time. Until then, keep having fun.